This is Lord Thaddeus Crane. And this one is a movie review. The movie is Bone Tomahawk. Now, what do I like about this movie? Well, it's not a cryptid movie at all. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. It is not anything about my normal stuff when it comes to paranormal or cryptid activity. This is not that kind of movie. However, like the first one, The Burrowers, you know, the one I reviewed before this, this movie is definitely of the dark western genre. Matter of fact, it was kind of brought up in one of the groups that I frequent and also have uh, administrative affairs over in Dogman Camps. There was a gentleman that brought up the movie and I was like, you know what? I need to do a review on this thing. So, here we go. What I like about this movie is that it does not necessarily represent any type of demonic evil or any kind of cryptid or anything like that or monsters. It basically describes the worst kind of monster, and that is us. This movie is about a tribe of individuals who are very cannibalistic, very vicious, uh, horrifically sadistic. Basically, if you to if you want to deal if you want to talk about someone who is truly monstrous and definitely influenced by very dark forces and the things they do. Trust me, these guys are it. They are actually mentioned by another individual of a Native American tribe who pretty much calls them uh, troglodytes. They are so vicious and horrific that they are truly demons in human skin, practically. That is how evil these fiends are. However, the other points of this movie, which I'm going to point out in a positive light, are the acting. The acting is top-notch. Kurt Russell who has actually not been in too many movies as of late, did a superb job in this. Very superb job. His character went through a lot. <laughs> uh, leave it at that. As did so many of the others. The f pretty much the premise says, a bunch of people are kidnapped by these fiends, and uh, they plan on using them as either food or breeding stock. Pretty much a fate worse than death for anybody. The... Like I said, the acting is top-notch. The interaction between the characters is also very, very impressive. And that's putting it lightly. Also, the musical score is nothing short of truly... It's moving. It has a very moving musical score, which I cannot help but recommend. Again, I mean, it, it catches the heavy actions and elements in this movie more than you can imagine. It also has a lot of human interaction which is believable just to be honest other than the fact you have of course psychotic sadistic evil most likely inbred cannibals that want to of course torture you kill you and then eat you I mean other than that part <laughs> I'm talking about that even they are somewhat portrayed fairly horrifically but realistically that's what I'm trying to say this western is a very Strong testament of the human spirit and its willingness to survive. I'll tell you that now. There are different... I'm going to tell you right now. There are so many things of violence in this movie. You have to be very careful. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit further detail. Mainly for, of course, the scary elements. That's kind of what you guys want to hear from me. So that's what you're going to get. What are the scary elements in this movie? Well, you have hulking, terrifying sadistic, most likely inbred uh, freaks that uh, love to kill people and eat their flesh and basically keep their women, blind them, and you know where I'm going with this, breeding stock. I'm just going to leave it at that. The way they're portrayed, these guys are definitely indigenous, indigenous American, Native American Indian. These guys are also, the way they're portrayed, they have <laughs> freaking... Uh, Markings, piercings, their uh, skin is white, but not naturally white. It's uh, pretty much like where you get chalk and you rub your skin white. It's like that. I think it's called ochre is what they use. And like I said, I mean, it's just... <laughs> these guys are just something out of a nightmare. They have, implant, they have some kind of implant in their throats. I think made of bone that they use to call out to each other. And it's just... It, believe me, seeing these guys would break anyone's sanity. I'm telling you that now. 
And the weapons they use, of course, are made from human bone and other kinds of things. Hence the name, you know, of the movie, Bone Tomahawk. These guys are very bad news. <laughs> I'm just telling you that right now. And because of the fact they are such horrific monsters of uh, human individuals, uh, when they check out, you're glad for them to check out, I promise you. You do not feel any type of real sympathy for these guys. At all. Now, I'm pretty sure there are some people who would probably say, you know, the way that certain uh, nationalities or whatever were portrayed are not great. I can understand that, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is a horror movie. It's not meant to be too reverent of anything. I'm telling you, it, again, if you're willing to not be a special snowflake and definitely watch a very well-acted and terrifying movie, and I mean scary, sit down and give Bone Tom a uh, Tomahawk. Anyway, give this movie a try. I guarantee it that you will not be disappointed when it comes to acting, some serious greedy situations, and very gruesome, bone-curdling terror. Give Bone Tomahawk a try. You guys will not be disappointed. You guys be blessed and y'all be safe.